I'm an anthropologist by training and I was doing a master's in international development. So really with a focus on uh, developing economies, um, post-war economies. And, you know, Liberia had just gone through the Ebola crisis. So I was very interested to see, you know, how do entrepreneurs respond to mm -hmm. a completely changing economy? <clears throat> and, you know, now it turned out to be quite relevant with, you know, COVID and that changing the economy so drastically for people as well. Yeah. Um, but what, I, what always drew me to it is that, you know, topics of development and post-war can be very heavy, but when you look at entrepreneurship, it's very um, like aspirational, it's focused on hope, it's like very energized. And I found that group of people to be very uplifting and interesting um, in kind of a more, a context that can, can be a little bit, uh, intense sometimes. 100% and I think I mean both both of us you know are both working for a startup and I, I just I just see that you know within that entrepreneurial community you you're either drawn from it or scared by it and I like it, I think maybe both of us were just drawn by by its energy and positivity like you said right the like the, the topics are really dark and really hard because what, what entrepreneurs always do is, you know, they, they look at the world and, and, and see what's wrong with it and, and kind of try to find ways to, to make it better. And, and I think, you know, that, that has attracted me to work for ION um, and maybe, you know, has attracted you to, to kind of join uh, that, 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 you know, energy. Um.